We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined with Mr. Shola Taylor, who is Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization. Shola, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you so much. It's very nice to see you. Great. Now, I'd like to start talking about uh, the theme of ITU Telecom World 2015 mm -hmm. is accelerating digital innovation for socio-economic development. How do you see ICTs impacting everyday lives around the world? Well, uh, first of all, let me congratulate the ITU for this event. Um, I think it's a perfect platform uh, to showcase the impact of ICT in our everyday life. One, take the health sector. Uh, we've witnessed a lot of uh, positive uh, aspects. If you take Ebola, Ebola in West Africa has been tremendously helped by ICTs. The fact that the countries that were affected use ICT effectively made the disease to actually be eradicated in you know, as, as short a time as possible. Secondly, if you look at the agricultural sector, in many cases, farmers are now getting the cost of the prices of their products in the cities, which they didn't have before. And that's making them richer, that's making the price to be more competitive, and they're now valuing more what they produce. Um, if you take the issue of gender, young girls, because of ICTs, that gender gap is now reducing. So it has a lot of impact. Finally, if you take the uh, social media, um, one interesting thing in Nigeria, for example, uh, the last elections in Nigeria was won and lost through the social media. That's the impact of ICTs. How important do you think the broadband and cyber security are for the Commonwealth and beyond? Um, if you take the policy documents of virtually every country in the world, there are two things you will find, broadband, cyber security. Why? Broadband provides the access that every country needs for their citizens. And therefore, it's important that they establish policies, strategies that will ensure that citizens can have broadband access. Um, countries are now competing in terms of targets. Uh, if you take China, for example, the 100 megabits, you know, that's quite a, a challenge. And even more than that, in terms of their target, some countries are looking for less. What is important is that they want broadband access so that their people can benefit from the, 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 um, the information overload that they're getting from internet um, in order to improve their lifestyles. Educational institutions are trying to make sure that they have you know, high bits uh, access. Um, all the various uh, sectors, whether it's sports, whether it's agriculture, whether it's um, farming, whatever, ICTs are getting quite, um, you know, quite relevant in the scheme of things. Cyber security is even more important because these networks that are being built, there's a need to ensure that they're secured. Now, if you have hackers who are going to the systems uh, to negatively affect, then that's, that's, that's really scary. It's scary for our financial institutions. It's scary for the stability of the system. It's scary for you and I because we want to be able to have confidence in these systems. Every day, operators, um, agencies ask for information. Now, how would this information be used? It's quite important that every country establishes the right cybersecurity regime to protect their privacy, to protect this information, and to ensure that the world lives in good peace. Finally, I'd just like to ask you, I know you're a regular attendee at ITU events. What's the value of attending ITU Telecom World for you? Well, for me, I don't even think I just come to the IT platform because, one, um, the IT Telecom provides a wonderful mix of interest. One, you have the various um, exhibitors who are bringing in new technologies that you can actually see firsthand, that you can begin to see how does this apply in my immediate environment in the countries that I'm interested in. Secondly, it also gives um, the uh, various speakers the opportunities to share experience. And that's really, really interesting, global experience from Asia, from Africa, uh, from Americas. I think it's a platform that needs to be encouraged. I would like to see if more people participate at the IT Telecom. And I wish IT well in the future. And we wish you well too. Well, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thank you. Thank you. Great.